I well now we're playing I'm not I am now the school delinquents love and but I want out I don't know let's see here we are Haruto uh the demon's cavern legend says that there that those who enter never come out the same they lose all their loot and now uh, they're particular uh particularly back at level one Oh, where exactly did you hear that? This legend. Online forms, that's beside the point. Uh, they said that this is the uh, base of one of the strongest players in their entire game. And I'm going to raid it. What is, is this? Something like D&D? D &D -D -D -D? Yeah, I'm not doing that. What? Haruto, you gotta, bro. Stick together. They're through everything. I'm not about to lose my entire account on some legend. Besides, what exactly do you think is going to happen? Ah, oh, that's the strongest player, right? Imagine all the sweet, sweet loot they have in there. Yeah, there's got to be at least 100,000 yen worth of weapons. And you think you can beat who wanna, whoever's inside and take it all? I'm an optimist. Hmm. Uh, it's fun as watching Goro uh, go in there and get destroyed by whatever whale is inside that base sound is true. Base sounds, in truth, my mind is elsewhere. It's our first day back in class and our last year of high school, no less. It seems like uh, only yesterday I entered school as a shy, quiet 16 year old with no friends and all, all on my own. Now I'm shy, quiet, 18-year-old with no, with one friend who is addicted to online games and won't even be in my class this year. So much for uh, what uh, youthful high school experience, huh? Uh, but maybe this year will be a different. Maybe uh, I'll finally come out of my shell, make friends, go out to do karaoke with people. I've always wanted to do that. Karaoke is fun. Hey, uh, Aruto, uh, log back on and give me some uh, of your stuff. What? Why? Yeah, why do you want my stuff? So I can fully prepare for the raid, uh, this guy's base. Come on, I, I need some healing potions. Uh, I'll sign, or maybe I'll just uh, play MMORPGs until I turn 30. Hey, nerds. Hey, nerds. Oh. Goro, I, I look up and uh, standing before us was someone we only know by the name of Udon. He is uh, class 3B with uh, Goro, an infamous for being part of the school's delinquent trio known as the Black Dogs. Even though, ironically, none of them are dogs or have black fur. Ugh, what do you want? Uh, hurtful? Is that any way to talk to your neighbor? I've never forget you for breaking uh, my animana figure. I said I was sorry. Uh, you will be. No, uh, Udon. Oh, uh, what do you need from us? Uh, Udon. What do you, what what do you need from us? Hmm. Oh yeah, I actually here for uh, to ask Haruto a question, completely uh, hypothetical. M me? Yeah, just a bit of research. Uh, so, uh, Rudo, uh, if someone were to confess their feelings to you, how would you want them to do it? OMG, visual novel moment? Uh, confuse? Confess? To me? Sure, is that, uh, so strange? I mean, who would do that? I don't think anyone in school even knows my name. Uh, it's, it's just a hypothetical. Uh, don't ever uh, daydream of things like that. Uh, of course I do. I keep getting confused. Falling in love, going on fluffy rose-colored lovely dovey dates. Anyone would want something like that. Well, I guess something sweet like getting a flower or a letter? Uh, just having someone confess their feelings, honestly. Uh, someone who's bold and strong? Or maybe something like that, huh? Um, I see. Oh, well, this was uh, useful information, Haruto. All right, I'll catch you nerds later. I'll catch you nerds later. Hey, you're gonna ask me? 
Why am I only asking people who actually have a chance getting confessed to? A you! In a frenzy, Udon dashes out of the classroom. Goro uh, angrily chases after him. Why do you sound like the TikTok tech dude? That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing, where I'm doing the... What is the, what is the lyric from the TikTok? Get back here! You baka? What is he like? Listen to daddy! <laughs> What's the point? Weird. Wait, let's see, let's see. Uh, Deku TikTok. Wait, is this it? Burton, this is so cool. I'm gonna get a good breakfast. Wait, what is this? No, Deku TikTok meme. Uh, no, it was like a Roblox. It was like Roblox, wasn't it? Yeah, this guy right here. This one, this one. You know, we're done. We're done. We're not done. We're not Daddy done. Daddy isn't done speaking. Daddy you isn't done speaking. Here. You come back here. Daddy demands you to come back. <laughs> come back right here. Well, Daddy is going to get really angry. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Thank you for realizing. <laughs> the school academy take place in this morning. The principal stands in front of the gym podium talking about the same old thing he always uh, does in the first day. Also, hi, B. Welcome in. School's important. Study, study, study. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, but Udon's question makes me worried. Wonder. Yeah? You've got to be careful, Pookie Bear. But Udon's question makes me wonder, is somebody going to ask me? I don't even have friends outside of Goro. Oh, why would anyone want to confess to me, as invisible as I am? Mm. Yeah, maybe this is just uh, who I'm supposed to be. Uh, there's always that person who you don't even remember in old yearbook photos. Uh, that would be me. Then the people who point to and ask themselves, just who the hell was that guy? Yeah, and that's fine. I'll just keep my uh, expectations as low as possible. Uh, I'll never get disappointed. Yeah, I just have to keep living as I have a deal. That's this point. I'll be fine, right? The gym doors crash open and the principal's speech halts in a uh, confused shudder. And there is the exist. And there is the entrance. Stand the black dogs. Whoa. Whoa. Who's that? Bunny? Udon to the left, standing as proud and smug as ever. The bunny with a mask to the right. And then in the very middle, the huge broad wolf with the uh, scariest glare I've ever seen by the name of Akuma. Akuma. Yo, 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 we're crashing this assembly. What is the meaning of this? Kazuma, you? Shouted old man, this is an important PSA by the black dogs. This is like some anime stuff. <laughs> it, uh, Kira. The tall, scary looking bunny uh, raises her phone up to her masked face with a deep feminine voice. Loudly yells into the speakers at the gym, blaring out the voice, making the whole student body jump. Okay, now what the voice do I do here? Haruto! <laughs> Make yourself known! Uh, me? The students around me start to shuffle out of the way, and a clear patch forms between me and the black dogs with the large wolf eyes and made mine. I'm almost positive I peed a little. One of these things is not like the others. <laughs> he starts making his way towards me. His legs start shaking like crazy. My throat dry as a desert. Uh, is that it, God? Am I going to die today? The wolf finally reaches me, and I have to tilt my head to look up at him. He uh, increases the icy glare, glare, making me my own eyes water in fear. Then when he suddenly gets down on one knee, 
<laughs> it's, it's, it's only when I realized a huge bouquet of flowers in his hand as he extends it up, almost as if offering them to me. Akata uh, Haruto. His voice blooms very loud, and then the bunny with the speakers making everything, including me, jump back in shock. I... <laughs> He stutters, a red blush forming in his face. I just stand there in shock, unable to process just what the hell is going on. What could have possibly want with me? I... I'm in love with you. Akana, go out with me. What? The entire chimps erupts in a roar of screaming and shocks, whispers, and murmurs of confusion echoing around the entire building, but my head goes blank, completely dumbfounded. Is this a joke? I'm being punked. Where's the cameras? Oh! Pookie Bear! But there's a, there's no cameras. Udon and Kamari are close behind Akuma. As expected, my answer as everyone else here is. Or is expecting my answer as everyone else is. I look back to Akuma, his glare just as scary. But his hands seem to be shaking and nervous. Is this for me? Is this for real? What do I do? I can't say yes. I don't know, Akuma. What is this? Some kind of trap? What do I do? I don't know. I... He nodded. That's a yes. He nodded. That's a yes. Another round of uh, confused roar pierced my, my eardrums and my heart sinks when I realize what I actually just did. Accidentally just did. Did I accept? Udon cheers, and Akuma gets back to his feet, towering over me once again, and leers down at me with a uh, crooked smile. Hmm. See you at lunch, Akuna. He pushes the flowers to my chest, making me uh, instantly grab onto them, and he quickly turns to leave, Udon jumping up and down happily after him. This concludes the announcement principle. You may continue. Our uh, Kari yells our final announcement into the phone, following after the other two, uh, who are long gone by now, and closes the double doors behind her, leaving the gym incomplete. This is definitely like very anime. All the eyes land on me as the principal nervously picks up where he left off, and I clutch my uh, onto my flowers. My uh, shaky legs are uh, doing a poor job of keeping me up. Just oh, what the hell happened? Well, I guess you just got a date. I know, I, I wanted to be noticed, but this is too much. When we go back to our class, a crowd of people quickly formed around my desk, bragging, barger, bar bargaining, bar barger, bargering me with questions. What kind of guy is Akuma like? Have you guys been going steady? Where are the uh, threatenings to say yes? All questions I have zero answers to. Thankfully, though, throughout the uh, rest of the morning, there was enough of a uh, distraction by the teachers to not have uh, me invaded with more interviews. But when lunch break finally come, people come right back to my desk, their hunger, curiosity, unwavering at such a time like this. Uh, is it true? Is it true? Like, uh, Karma goes to, like, meat shops to eat other people's remains? Ah, uh, those are just rumors. Oh wait, those are just rumors. I hear he only uh, eats rival gang members. Have you seen that, Akana? Eat? Come on, I'm sure Akana doesn't appreciate you guys talking about his boyfriend like that. Besides, Akuma never beat up anyone at school before. That's just because he uh, is good at what he does, uh, being sneaky, uh, bully for hire. I hear the student council sometimes pay him to get rid of uh, students who don't vote for them. <laughs> yeah, it's all true, Akuna. I... The classroom doors open suddenly and the entire room falls, falls silent. The crowd that formed around me takes one look at whoever was at the door and without a word quickly gathered their things and disappear, heading out the back door. Of course, there was no doubt in my mind that the person at the door was Akuma. 
Uh, but seeing him makes uh, his way towards me makes me want to pee a little all over again. Uh, he stands before me now, looming over my desk. Uh, his uh, presence is twice as uh, daunting as the students that were here just uh, seconds ago. And he takes about just as much room as they did. Uh, hi, uh, Aguila san. Mm. What? Huh? You're my boyfriend now. Uh, don't use uh, honorifics on with me. He says like uh, as a demand and I stutter, whining in the back of the, my throat. Uh, yeah, sorry. He huffs his expression, becomes impossible to read. He's more than unusual. Give me your lunch money. <laughs> what? What are you, death? I said, give me your lunch money. Uh, is that an American style of bullying? Am I going to become a uh, piggy bank? With a trembling hand, I reach into my wallet and he hands me what I uh, usually spend in the day, hoping he won't ask for me. Is that it? Uh, have mercy. Yeah, sorry. Hmm, fine. Uh, go up to the roof uh, and wait for me. Uh, I'll be there soon. Now. Yeah. I get up and uh, scoop my way uh, around the huge frame. I dash out the door and he makes a uh, deadling towards the roof. Despite such a uh, predicament, uh, it's a nice day out. The cherry blossoms are in full bloom and it's uh, that time of year and some uh, petals have floated all the way up here, coloring the floor in pink trees. Yep, prison. <laughs> I slice shaking my heartbreak, now claiming down, now calming down no matter how many breaths I take. What do I do? How do I get out of this? As I, uh, if it's less like the sign of God himself, my phone starts to ring and checking the ID, it's Goro. I answer all as hastily, pressing the phone up to my ear. Goro. Naruto, uh, what the hell is going on? That one year I finally decided to skip the assembly to get uh, items on uh, RuneCraft and someone uh, confesses to you uh, during the old guy's speech. And I'm not uh, just anyone, but freaking Akuma from the Black Dogs? Are you, you, you said yes? It was an accident. I didn't mean to. I just, I nodded because I was shaking so much. That's crazy. You know, that, that that you right i know i just help me out how do i get out of this hmm all right there's no other way around this Arto. uh you gotta break up with him straight up what are you crazy i can't do that he'll kill me ah uh, there's no there's no choice here Arto. you got yourself into this mess now it's uh the only way out and if there's a chance akuma will beat you up absolutely but you gotta adore it. Imagine being Akuma's personal playing, all playing thing, all all year, all school long, all school year. What is this? Coffee, Akuma-sama. You like you asked. That, the way is, that's way too hard. Are you trying to burn me? You stupid stray. Uh, I'm so sorry. Oh God. Exactly. Uh, that's where you want to wait. And those are worse like that'll get. Don't extend uh, the time frame, Ardro. Rip the bandage off while the wound is still fresh. And if you get beat up, I'll take you to the hospital myself. Uh, how kind. Uh, so good luck. Uh, you can do it. Beep. Rip the bandage off, huh? As much as I hate to admit it, mm, Garu might be right. Making this go on more than it needs to is just going to make it harder to get out of. I can't expect how long it will be together. I gotta get things now. A crack of the roof door opening alerts me and Akuma's here. And I turn to face him, full of a uh, resolve to end this now. And then I get a good look at him and realize I really don't want to get beat up by him. Sid. Yes. I forgot I'm a huge pushover. I'm going to be harder than I thought. 
We both take a seat at the bench around the railing of the roof. Akuma's size uh, taking up most of the bench and just enough space for me to squeeze a uh, butt cheek onto. Into. Here. He puts a melon bread in a can of coffee on my lap, along with some coins. Huh? For, for me? You know, you don't really see my uh, male yonderers all that often. Is that what this is called? <laughs> Obviously, it was uh your money. Uh, you like that bread, right? Uh, the dots slowly start to connect in my mind as it, I look at the bread, and then the coins, and then I look up at him. He want and bought this for me? But aren't their lines really bad at the cafeteria this time of day? Well, not when you're the school bully. Yeah, it's my favorite. Thank you. He hoves immediately, crossing his arms and closing his eyes, nodding once. I technically unwrapped, or I just, I ticked it, tick, tick, tickly unwrapped the wad from uh, its packaging, eating slowly and uh, cautiously as I glance at Akuma through the corner of my eye, wondering if he's poisoned it. Ah, uh, that's ridiculous. Even Akuma wouldn't go something like that, would he? Am I just being paranoid? Well, to be fair, he is really scary. Akuna. Yes? What's your favorite food? Huh? We're a couple now. I have the right to know these things about you. So answer me. All right. Uh, let's, let's see. Uh, maybe, uh, yakisoba? Are you asking or saying? Uh, yakisoba. Definitely yakisoba. Hmm. Got it. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, uh, what about you? Meat. Yeah, I could tell. Huh? I'm sorry I asked. Hmm. Suddenly, the roof door swings open again, and waltzing comes another two members of the Black Dog, Karuko and Udon. You know, uh, come on, Naharuto, uh, figured, uh, uh, figured you'd be up here. What are you doing here? Now, why is everyone being so mean to me today? You know I was the one who got you those flowers, right? A little gratitude would be nice. Akuma huffs and Udon and Aru to sit straight right in front of us on the floor. Udon takes out uh, two corn dogs from his pocket, ew, and wields them like Wolverine claws, while uh, Aru and I glued to her phone, tapping away, playing a game most likely. What a charmer. What a charmer. Anyways, uh, what, let's just wanted to beat uh, the guys and fell you head heads over heels with. Uh, aku, aku. Aku, aku. Didn't we, uh, 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 Garia? Don't roll me into this. You guys are mean. So what were you two talking about before we came? Our favorite foods. Oh, good topic. I like this. We wave around our corn dogs under my nose, a grin on his face. Mm, want one, Haru? I'm good. Don't wave them around Akura's face like that. <laughs> Akura! I thought you said you switched to first name bases when you started dating. Aye. Akuma huffs again, this time in clear embarrassment. Come on, try it out. Say his name. It's easy. Akuma looks at me, blushing, opening his mouth to say something. Ha. Akuda. Hmm. Ha. What, what was that? You shut up. Udon has a small laughing fit. Uh, but this claim calms himself down, returning his attitude towards me. Attention towards me. <laughs> well then, you guys are uh, getting to know each other, right? Uh, Haruto, uh, what are some of your hobbies? Oh, um, well, I like gardening. I play video games. I also read books a lot. Talk about a nose fest. Snooze fest. Could I get any more boring? That sounds chill. What games do you play? 
Uh, mostly RuneCraft. Ah, uh, you play RuneCraft? Uh, Kiraga being mostly upset, absent from the conversation, now lights up, sitting straight up and looking right at me. Yeah? What rank are you? 30. Oh my gosh! Okay, so you're not this far yet, uh, but that's totally fine. Have you played the new story quest? Uh, what did you think? I thought it was boring. I think the devs are running out of ideas at this point, and the free time, and the free time, or wait, I gotta be like, um, and made it kind of like worth it. Oh, and you gotta go like, uh, Starling Dungeon if you already have. Uh, that's the place where you unlock the, uh, Hayachi Sword, and it's a lifesaver. Oh, uh, what's your idea? I'll add you right now. Ah, uh, if you know, if you know it, uh, we could play it if you, ah. Or whatever, you know. Only if you're down. I don't care either way. She scuffs off and looks away, also uh, clearly embarrassed. She kind of is like that girl version of uh, Akuma. Don't mind Akira. Uh, Akira. Uh, she's a huge nerd. She loves to play with you. Don't put words in my mouth. Uh, you put them in your... You put them there yourself. They banter like uh, back and forth. It's a funny way of friends always seem to do, but I get a little jealous of them. So even uh, delinquents have these kinds of friendships, huh? The kind where you just laugh and joke around with and tease each other about it. Of course, I'm uh, grateful for uh, my friendship with Garu, but uh, we're not this close. Mm. I really don't belong here, do I? Here in the middle of these groups of friends, a completely outsider to uh, this dynamic, what do I have to offer? All the more reason to call it quits now. Uh, Akuma. He had a, uh, he's, he had been listening in on the two banter, but uh, when he hears me mutter his name, his ears flick over to my direction, and he gives me a full attention. Yes. Damn it, why now? Aw oh, man, lunch is over too soon. He and Akira get up from the floor and stretch out a bit, and Udon throws them sticks of his now eaten corn dogs over the fence of the roof, grinning at me. Uh, you seem like a nice guy, Aruto. I uh, treat Akuma well, okay? He may look scary, but he's a real puppy on the inside. What was that? Nothing. If you really do want to play, uh, though, just ask. They both scurvy, uh, scur scur scurry off out the door, leaving Akuma and I alone again. Oh, what are you going to say, Akuna? Huh? Oh, um... Nothing. <laughs> hmm. I keep skipping it. No. Good. Then wait for me. Uh, the gate, when classes are over, don't leave without me. Got it. Oh, got it. He nods and pauses as he waits to say more. But then he uh, shakes his head, turning to leave. I'm glad uh, those two seem to like you. <laughs> uh, Akuna. Uh, and go, and off he goes. Mm. Akuma is pretty scary. But maybe there's really a trace of a nice guy somewhere there, hidden behind the uh, piercing eyes of his. Uh, he get he got me lunch. His friends seem to care about me a lot. Uh, he just hasn't actually done anything mean yet. And he is pretty handsome. If it is a pushover, my nature, what things I want to learn's over to kiss me. Wait, if he if it, if it is my pushover in nature that thinks that if he leans over to kiss me, I wouldn't push away, or something else. No, oh, no, 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 no way, I can't think of that. I gotta end things ASAP. Uh, for the sake of uh, my high school year, the chaos of that or the black dogs can't stay in my life. After school, that's when I'll do it, for sure. This is definitely like anime. By the time classes are over, the hunger for my class, the hunger of my classmates have died down a bit. And only a few people pass by to ask me a question or two about Akuma. Now, of course, when they realize I barely know Akuma myself, they pretty much leave me alone. So it was bear bearable at the very least. 
Now the main gate is waiting for him to show up like he said he would. And then when my phone rings, Goro's ID, uh, Garu's ID popping up on my screen once again. Garu? Aruto, have you done it yet? I haven't heard any uh, blood curling cries from you, so I'm assuming he didn't beat you up. No, I haven't broke uh, broke things off yet. What? Aruto, you gotta. Haven't you heard the rumors going around? Apparently he eats people. I... I don't think Akuma is a bad as a person makes him out to be, Garu. Really? You're not saying. But even if he isn't, I don't belong with him. I'll break things off soon, I promise. Oh, all right, just be safe, Aruto. Beep. I hang up and call. I hang up the call just in time to see Akuma making his way over to me, making a clear path uh, whenever he walks. I guess nobody is crazy enough to get in his way. Uh, Akana. Okay, I keep saying a different name every time. Uh, Akuma, how uh, were your classes? I skipped them. Oh. Uh, that's no good, Akuma. Um, you have to go to them. Are you scolding me? Uh, no, no. All right, I won't skip classes tomorrow. Uh, so I don't disappoint you anymore. Oh. Uh, all right, then. So what do you want to do? The other two interrupted us on the roof after lunch. I wanted to spend more time with you, just the two of us. Oh, sure. What, what did you... Give me your backpack. What? Give it to me, now. Uh. He's cute one second, then terrifying the next. Is this what uh, people call a uh, gapmo? I shakenly offer my backpack to him, expecting him to turn off with it. Run off with it, or intercept the uh, contents to make fun of me, or having a romance manga in there. But he just throws it over my his shoulder, carrying it with ease. Come on. And without another word, he starts walking in front of me, and quickly uh, follows behind. It's quite a walk, though, through town. And I'm so far behind him, it's almost looks like I, I'm stalking him. But eventually he, very roughly, demands I walk by his side when he notices this. So we walk shoulder to shoulder after that. Or rather, shoulder to bicep. Oh, uh, we reached a small little butcher shop uh, selling chicken beets of all kinds of birds. And Akuma opens the door for me to go in. Oh, get in. Right. Uh, this shop doesn't smell as much as raw meat as I was expecting it to be. A array of bread, skinless chickens, and a display of counter does make it uneasy. Not to mention, why did Akuma bring me here? Where are the rumors of him eating his victims true? Am I next? Uh, is it Goro? Is there? There you are. An older man makes his way out uh, what I presume to be a uh, freezer with a friendly smile, and he nods happily at Kuma. Uh, Mr. Wannabel, how oh, are hey. oh, you? brought a friend. Mr. Wannabel smiles warmly at me as if he uh, hastily bows to him. As I hastily bow to him. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm uh, Kana Aruto. Ah, oh, Aruto, I've heard a lot about you. He chuckles and looks over at Kuma, a teasing grin in the wrinkles of his eyes. So, finally manned up and did it, huh? Akuma just huffs. He seems to be a lot when he embarrasses. Embarrassed. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure to meet you, a little Haruto. Uh, please take good care of uh, my uh, Shikoro here. Uh, he may be hard to get along with sometimes, but you know you gotta get you gotta get a heart. You got a heart of gold, truly. Is it Como? Is that a Como's real name? He comes here often to help me out in the shop, running errands for me, taking over when I'm not feeling well. He's a good kid. It's nothing. 
Ah, uh, so this must be where the rumors came from. Makoro must work uh, here part time. Uh, I'll be sure to do it. be good to him, Mr. Uh, Watabahari Babari. Oh, good, good lion. Now, uh, what are you here for, uh, Ishikaro? To ask for the day off today. I'd like to spend it with uh, Ghana, if uh, that's all right with you. Always some fridge uh, humor to a uh, butcher shop. Uh, is an answer make or right? Ah, right. <laughs> oh, of course. Well, it's uh, been a slow day. Uh, I'll consider it mm, if you do one thing for me. He grabs an envelope from the drawer and hands it over to Gorma. And once his hands trace the contents inside, he quickly tries to return it. Oh, Mr. Waterbell. What a what I will you. Uh, it's my condition, unless you want to work. Mm. I thought so. Now, you gotta take your new boyfriend somewhere nice. Here, you hear? You hear? <gasps> Thank you. Why did I just assume that he had a country you hear you hear thank you don't mention it yeah, it was nice to meet you a little uh Haruto. yes it was a pleasure mr uh want a body bb um akumo what's inside the envelope where where would you like to go now akuna huh to somewhere. It doesn't matter where it is. I, uh... You said you like games, right? Yeah. Then come with me. He starts walking off again, and then I uh, have to run to catch up with him. I thought this said it was short. <laughs> the arcade? I do like the crane games. Is that not good? No, I didn't say that. The arcade's great. Mm, good then. Oh, uh, what games do you want to play? Uh... Oh no, now he's going to spend money on me. Oh, what? Wait, is that what was in the envelope? Oh gosh, I'm too deep. Why not the rhythm game machine? Those are fun. Uh, and we can play together. If it's what Okono wants to do, then let's go. We walk over to an empty arcade machine. Uh, to the bright lights and music. Uh, making a car tense up next to me, but he grabs a card from his wallet and swipes it on the game a loud ping uh, Singing that that the game is ours to play what, what kind of songs would you like? Death metal I don't think this game has death metal songs. It's mainly uh, uh, idol music mm, Do you like that kind of thing? Huh? Oh, well, not really. <laughs> Sorry, Hanatsumiku, I denied you. Mm, I thought you liked this kind of thing. You were at the anime con last year, after all. Oh, well, that was mainly for Goru. Wait, you were there? Uh, the song looks good. He chooses a song with a very upbeat tempo. Uh, and before I have time to question him, uh, the game's just started uh, getting its groove of the gameplay. I miss a few notes at the start, but eventually I get to the rhythm of it. Uh, and we're at uh, 400 notes. Is this... All right, Akumu, what's yours? Oh, Akumu, you're all right. You only hit 10 notes. No, Akuma. Yes? It's starting turning into Sling Blade, LOL, Mustard and Bit. <laughs> I hate, I hate this game. I hate this game. Uh, I'm sorry, I was being selfish. No, uh, if you had fun, then I'm happy either way. But let's play a different game now. Of course, anything you'd like. He smiles at me and somewhat, uh, then try uh, this time. It's not scary at all, just warm and happy. Hmm. Oh no, this isn't good. Why'd my heart skip a beat just now? 
this can go on on any further i have to break things off before it gets worse than this no more beating around the bush i gotta be gotta go now there's a shooter somewhere here do you like those aquana well it'd be rude not to at least let him play a game he likes right sure let's play that after this game and after this game i'm surely ah uh, just one more I could say it. I couldn't say it. I'll go to wait for me here. I have to use the bathroom. Okay. Hmm. I can't deny that I've been having a lot of fun with uh, Akuma. He's scary, but I think that's just the, uh, his exterior. Mr. Uh, Waterbull, the black dogs, they care a lot about uh, Akuma. Uh, and that's easy to see why. He may be strong and intimidating, but he is kind, and he has worries about my happiness. There's no denying it. I was defensive before, but now I'm sure, I'm sure of it. Kumo is a good guy. So, why would, I, would he fall for a nobody like me? I can't let this go on anymore than it already has. This, the chaotic, unpredicted nature of Kuma. He has one place is bothering my playing life. My playing life. Is that what you want? Huh? The blush. Without even uh, realizing it, I had been blankly staring at the claw machine full of cute little bear plushies. Oh, no, I... Step aside. But... I step out of the way, and Akuma quickly uh, swipes a card on the machine, making the light swirl to life. A look of deep uh, concentration etches onto his face, and uh, maneuvering the claw, he lines it up right above one of the plushies, dropping it down, and... Completely miss it. It's okay, Akuma, let's just... He swipes the card again before I could finish, and tries it yet again. Uh, this time, lining it up and then the head rather than at the body and then the plushie. But again, the claw only grazes the stuffed toy, returning back without nothing as Akuma growls angrily. Akuma, come on. You don't have to. No, Akuma. Just let me do this for you. Hmm. Okay. He tries three, four more times each try, getting the plush closer and closer, opening the machine. Until he finally has a nice sign of bush out. Hello? 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 Try to get this plush closer and closer, opening the machine until finally, on the knife try, with a small push, it falls. The plushie, the machine, digging the excitement with us. You did it! Hmm. He reaches into it and grabs, easily holding it with one hand as he hands it over to me. He, uh, same crooked smile on his face. For you. Mm. Thank you, Akuma. I'm blushing and my heart pounding really hard. No way, I'm... I'm so happy right now. I feel like that's where the anime and its episode would have ended right there. It would have did like the little outro and it would have zoomed out and it would have been like, bah, 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 you know, that had been something like that. It's exactly what it looks like. After that, Akumo decided that it was getting late and that he could walk me home. An orange hue cast over the whole town and Akumo's shadow easily uh, engulfed my own as uh, he walks behind, beside me. My whole body uh, covered in by his. I just don't get it. I don't know how to end things, but why? Why don't I want to end this? Oh, good now. Where'd you stop? Is everything okay? Akuma? Yes. Why did you confess to me? Hmm? I turn around to face him, confused and surprised, slapped across his face. Well, now he knows how I felt at the assembly, huh? I mean, I'm not anyone special. I go to school, keep to myself, go home, and that's that. I don't have any friends other than Garu, 
I'm not particularly good looking, so why would you ever find me a lovable? Mm. Because you're strong, Hakuna. Huh? Oh, what are you? What do you? Do you remember the first year of high school? When club season rolled around, you decided to make uh, the gardening club because we didn't have one. I remember that everyone thought it was girly or stupid or boring and no one wanted to join. But you didn't care. You used the funds of the club to plant a garden at the school and you tended to them as best as you could on your own. You planted all kinds of flowers, but you never got to see them grow. Because a few days later, someone had trampled all, trampled all over them, and they destroyed your hard work. <laughs> oh, I remember that. I was devastated. I cried a lot. While MC is such a wiener. What? <laughs> no, I skipped something. No. Wait, can I go back? Go back. At this, at this point in time, I didn't really know who you were, and it's a little uh, shameful to admit, but I thought you were pretty lame at the time, too. Mm -hmm. But I was passed by, I was passing by when I saw you there, hunched over, sobbing all over the garden. A low growl rumbles his throat, and he uh, clenches and unclenches. His fist has uh, expressed or turned sober. You were so upset, and I was sure that the next day I'll find a garden to the same state, and that be the end of that. But when I went to check, there you were, cleaning up the mess, planting new seeds, watering them with a smile on your face. You were talking to yourself, or maybe you were talking to the seeds, talking, telling them how pretty they'll be when uh, that's just time for sure. Uh, he heard that? I would so cry a lot, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, this is very anime. This is a very anime anime, huh? I was so sure of giving it, you'd give up someone as frail and small and lame as you. I thought it'd break you. And when it did it, I was so surprised, and I realized then just how much I underestimated you and how strong you really are, Akuna. So I just kind of kept watch over you. How you always kept to yourself, but I always tried to make friends, getting people to join your club, or participating in that stupid school events. I was too afraid to ask you to be my friend, or to tell how I really felt. But this is our last uh, school year, and I decided that I wasn't going to let fear stop me anymore. Oh. So I gave it all my all, and I guess it worked out in the end. No. Uh, I'm not as strong as you think, Akuma. If the people who destroyed my garden had done it a second time, I, I don't think I would have ever have recovered. They weren't going to. I made sure of that. Huh? Uh, how did you... Hmm? Hmm? Akuma is scary. But being scared and being in love make your heart beat uh, the exact same way. I don't So he beat him up. He beat him up. Akuma is such an enemy. <laughs> it's, a <lie. laughs> it's a very, it's actually a really good story. I could definitely, I'm vi visualizing like an anime episode in my head. The sun is about to set. After today, I won't be able to break things off with him until tomorrow. After today, my life with Akuma, leader of the Black Dogs, the terrifying school delinquents of Ak Academy, Ak Academy, will truly start. No doubt it will be chaos. It will be strange and nerve-wracking and crazy and terrifying. Akuma. Yes. Mm. Let's go home. Lead the way. Akuma walks by my side now. He smiles at me, and I smile back. Yeah, it'll be chaos. It'll be uh, 
I'll be a uh, revival, but I think that's exactly what I want. Uh, sorry, Guru. Expanding the time with Akuma is what you warned me of, but what's the name of this game? It is called... Uh, it actually has a very anime name. I, I'm now the school delinquent's lover, but I want out. <laughs> very, very anime name. I think I'll stay by my side or just a little while longer. Akuma of the Black Dogs, the demon of Akana Academy. Rumors circulating around about this mysterious, terrifying endeavor, cannibalism, violence, corruption. Needless to say, those who have heard his name cower in fear. Akuna, if you need any more boxes to move, let me know. I don't want you carrying anything too heavy. And yet, he's the guy I call my boyfriend. I still seem so strange, that, so to think he's just a few days away. He and I are complete strangers, and I was terrified of him. I think that's all I need for the garden. Uh, we could put the rest of the things back in the storage shed. Good. We better find everything there where we left it tomorrow. If someone touches at your stuff again, I'm not going easy on them this time. Now we're a couple, and I'm only slightly less scared of him. I'm sure you're, uh, starting to, uh, tend to the garden as soon as do, though. Clubs don't form for another month. Ah, oh, well, you know, if no one tends to it, the flowers are going to wilt. Someone has to water them, and I'm the only one willing to. I'll help if you'd like. I I'd appreciate that. We carry the rest of the things to the shed, and I set the pile of mats, uh, huh. Thanks, Akuma. Of course. You seem a bit down, though, Akana. Hey, Akana, Akana. Is there something bothering you? Mm. For such a, uh, rugged guy, he sure is, uh, perspective. Or maybe it's just with me. I'm okay, just thinking, that's all. Mm. He sits next to me, his large weight making the match uh, sink beneath his weight, crossing his arms. I'm your boyfriend. I have the right to know if something's bothering you. So tell me. Mm. Well, it's dumb. Doesn't matter. I'm just worried that no one will want to join my club again this year. You want club members? Because I can get you club members. No, I don't want you to. Uh, course, anyone. I, I just wish people would want to join because they're interested in it. You, you know, it seems like there's a niche for everything except this. Or maybe I'm so boring no one would want to join any club I make. I understand, Akana. Uh, people judge others from what they think they know about them. It happens to me all the time. I guess you just get used to it. But don't let what others think of you define you. You're not boring. You don't think that. Got it? Oh. <laughs> I think Udon was right about you. In what way? Mm, who knows? I get up stretching out of our Kuno's a huff isn't... An embarrassment. Maybe it's all right if no one joins. I still have Kuma after all. Well, let's get going before it gets late. It's dangerous to walk back home in the dark. Why would it be dangerous? People could try to rob us. Well, they sure they can sure try. Yeah, he has a point. I don't think anyone's stupid enough to mess with someone as big as and intimidating as Akuma. Still. Oh, we should leave. Hmm. I try the handle door of the shed, but it doesn't budge at all. I try pushing and pulling and sliding, but the door won't open. D did the doors not open from the inside? Hmm. Uh. 
We're trapped! I frankly try to adore again, thinking maybe I just have a stupid uh, little noodle arms, but no matter how hard I push or pull, the door won't open. It definitely locked. Akuma, bust the door open. Uh, I don't think it works like that. Now is not the time to be rational. We're trapped. I start banging on the door and a clang of the fist against it, making a good amount of noises as if it yells out for help. Somebody help. Hmm. Uh, how are you so calm? Can't you see we're trapped in here? What if we... Hmm? What if we spend all night here? Don't tell me Akumo planned this. No, he wouldn't. Would he? I have no idea what he's capable of. But the idea of being trapped here all night uh, has me frozen embarrassment in Akumo's face is uh, stone cold as ever. But maybe there's a hint of a blush uh, in him, too. Maybe someone will come find us. It's it's ter it's entirely possible. Yeah, he is. He's way too calm. Either he did this on purpose or part of him wants to stay here with me, too. Slowly and in defeat, I return my place next to him, except maybe a little further than was before. He closes his eyes, arms, and cross, still crossed, and we stay like that in uh, defeating, deafening silence. Boy, I, I, I'm sure it'd be bad for us if someone from class found us here, though. Mm, why is that? Well, because we're a couple, right? What does that matter? Is he faking it, or is he actually this dense? You know, they're going to think we're... Kissing? Among other things. Y yeah, that. Would that be so bad? What? Kissing. Would it be so bad? What? Akumo surprisingly bold as expected of a guy who uh, confesses to me in front of the whole school, though. So does that mean Akumo wants to kiss me? Why am I surprised? I mean, we're boyfriends, right? Uh, of course he would. I wouldn't be a big deal. And he, yet just thinking about kissing Akuma makes me pretty scared. Uh, but if I was Akuma, who said I shouldn't let fear win over me uh, and as embarrassing as it, I might like to admit I kind of want to kiss him too no kissing isn't bad hmm. my heartbeat pounds against my chest as I inch closer to him my shoulders pressed against his biceps and he looks down at me a red blush on his face he uh, uncrosses his arms and hovers it over my shoulder, hesitantly. Uh, then he just lets it drop behind me, pressing down onto the mat. It makes him uh, get just a bit closer to me, though. So is that something Nakano would want to do? Hmm. If that's what uh, Kuma, I would... Hmm. Oh. Quickly and suddenly, Akuma grabs me with shoulders and pushes me up against a match. A huge body completely endovers my vision, making the only the white hanging above the shed uh, disappear behind his head, which is only inches away from my own. His breath is shallow. I can even see his tail wagging a bit, and he inches closer, and I, I'm scared. Love is scary. But I want to kiss him. I slowly wrap my arms around his back of his neck, pulling him closer, feeling the extent heartbeat pound against his large, strong back. His eyes meet mine and up in the red glowing in his desire to make sure he must replicate his own vision. Yo, Akuma, Haruto, you guys in here? Your backpacks are outside, and I... Pardon the intrusion. Why? Udon, don't lock us back inside. 
Man, go in on the second base on the second day. Is that the rate you're going, Akuma? I was going to be pregnant by May. What do you mean by that? For pregnant? Ooh. Darn. Y yeah? You never speak of this to any other soul, got it? Sure, man. <laughs> Well, glad I was able to, um, let you guys out of there. See you around, Haruto. Akumo looks at me uh, for a moment, and then blushes, clearing his throat. Let's go home. Right. Yeah, I guess he always finds a new way to scare me. Uh, my life with Akumo isn't going to be good for my heart, and yet I can't help but uh, want anyone these heart-stopping moments with him. It's just the kind of uh, chaos Akumo is going to be bringing to my life, then I uh, think I'll be just fine. Dope. End. That was the end. Well, if you would like to see more, that's the name of the game right there. Go support the devs. <laughs> Damn it. That was... Uh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was... That was pretty good. I mean, <laughs> that was definitely an anime story. <laughs>